Welcome to another Infographic Instant with Brian Michael. In this episode, we'll be looking at the extent to which Hong Kong has the highest financial regulatory costs around. The infographic you see in front of you comes from a larger paper which looks at the costs and benefits of adopting a Twin Peaks approach to a financial regulation in Hong Kong. The approach that we use specifically adopts what academics know as either a jurometric or empirically based approach to regulatory design. And in that approach, instead of just using people's opinions or looking at law in that jurisdiction and comparing with other jurisdictions, we actually use data. So we use cost-benefit data, we use social impact analysis, we look at a range of tools from economics in order to decide what the optimal financial regulation should be. And given those costs and benefits, we find in the paper that Hong Kong will probably be wise toward moving toward a Twin Peaks regulatory model, whereas in there's two major financial regulators. One regulator that's responsible for what is known as prudential regulation, that is drafting regulations that help lower the risk and increase the returns to the financial sector overall, and the second institution as the market conduct uh, authority, which makes sure that uh, people are not violating the laws, stockbrokers, bankers, uh, they're complying with the regulations that help protect their clients and protect each other. Turning our attention now to the infographic, we try and measure Hong Kong's, uh, the cost of Hong Kong's financial regulation along three dimensions. We look at the cost of financial regulation in Hong Kong uh, per staff member. We look at the costs in units of GDP in order to make different size countries comparable. And we look at uh, particularly staffing numbers as a proportion of that jurisdiction's population. Now, turning our attention to the infographic, we see that Hong Kong easily has some of the highest regulatory costs in the financial sector. Looking at the height of the bars, that shows the regulatory cost per staff member in thousands of US dollars. And we see that Hong Kong takes the lead in these costs at slightly over $160,000 per staff member, compared with Germany, easily uh, slightly more than $80,000, or roughly half of Hong Kong's regulatory burden, despite the fact that Germany is much larger than Hong Kong. Uh, Japan comes out at slightly between 100 and 120,000 US dollars per regulator whereas in even in the US and UK they're comparable but the size of their economies is much 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 larger than Hong Kong uh, looking at the second dimension which is uh, expressed as a percent of GDP we see that Hong Kong easily takes pole position. So uh, we see $665,000 per billion dollars of GDP in Hong Kong's jurisdiction. Turning our attention now to the bottom part of the infographic, that shows uh, financial regulators as uh, a proportion of population per million population. And we see, uh, unsurprisingly, the U.S. as the largest staffing of uh, financial regulators, followed closely by Hong Kong, Australia. And at the other end of the spectrum, we see financial regulators in Japan, Germany, and to a lesser extent, Switzerland, having far, far fewer staff per million population. This obviously implies that Hong Kong uh, regulation, just looking at the cost of that financial regulation to Hong Kong taxpayers, is too large, and there is probably overstaffing for political, administrative, or other reasons. Now, stepping back and being less controversial, what we can say about this infographic in general 
is that the costs and benefits of analysis can certainly help decide on an optimal regulatory regime, particularly in the financial sector. And this kind of analysis is very useful for discussing uh, public policy in financial regulation. This has been another Infographic Instant with Brian Michael.